Hey everybody, this is Gary. And Megan from Megar. We're on our second uh, video here. We're going to do the second part to the repacked wax opening. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, if you like what you see, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. If you think we could do something different, this is only our second video. Uh, let us know in the comments down below. We appreciate it. Okay, let's start with this pack. Again, I really like this sticker that they put on the back here that uh, keeps you from getting all the wax and whatnot on your cards. So that's really been fantastic. Okay, let's see. Jose Canseco from the good old days with the Red Sox. Carol Johnson. 84 Donruss. Sticking hair going on. Lou Brock Record Breaker. Yeah, not bad. Lou Brock. See what we have in the next pack. Mets team card. Mike Pagliarulo. Most of you are my age remember him. He was going to be the next best thing. Didn't quite work out though for old Mike. Moose. That's just funny name. Moose. Dave Trevecki, he was good back in the day when he was with the Padres. Paul Molitor. Ah, nice Mike Piazza card. Mitch team leader. Ah, Tom Seaver, Hall of Famer there. This one definitely was airbrushed. Look at that. That was strawberry. Armin Kilbrew. It's a nice card. A little off center, but other than that, it's in beautiful shape. With the Mike Piazza. Ken Griffey, senior. Just about every pack so far that we've opened up has had a really nice card in it, or two. Just the excitement, though, of opening them like the old days is really, really worth the money to begin with. Steve Carlton. Happens to be actually my favorite player. Cal Ripken Jr. That's a really nice card. That's top prospect. It's just really fun because you never know what the next card is going to be, what year, what make, what person. Orioles team photo. Daryl 
Blevins. It's <coughs> a nice card. 75 tops and it's feels mint. Looks mint. I'm surprised at the great shape these cards are in. Matt Williams. Ah, there's an A-Rod. Oh, there's a minor league card. Jim Palmer, all-star card. Jim Palmer, another Hall of Famer. This is a really good pack here so far. Okay. Definitely no doubt they're sealed. Oh, that's an interesting card. Chase Utley. That's really interesting. Bowman Heritage. Oh, look at that. Time record leaders, Nolan Ryan and Walter Johnson. It's a really nice card. Fergie Jenkins. Yeah, it's a little, little crease, a little hair, but what are the chances of getting a 1970 Fergie Jenkins? to get um, one of these boxes? Uh, it was $89.95 plus shipping. Which, for what it is, is really you're paying for the thrill more so than the cards. I mean, for me to spend the money to feel like I was 13 again has just been fantastic. Seeing cards from before I was collecting, after I was collecting, during, it's just, just indescribable. Lee Mazzilli is a manager. I have tons of cards of him as a player. George Foster. Ricky Henderson. Ted Sizemore. Rising Star, Mike Piazza. Fleer Ultra. Rock Carew, All Star. There's a vintage. Here's this. 59, 1959 Dean Stone. And her back. Lance Parish. John Smoltz, Dave Parker, that's one of the <clears throat> mini 75 tops, really nice shape, sharp corners, no creases, a little off center, but really nice card. ERA leaders, Tom Seaver.
I'll just keep moving along here. Jose Uribe. That's a funny card. If you, you go onto eBay and you look up uh, Jose Uribe cards, they, uh, they play a little bit of a trick there on you and put them out there for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And he really was just a utility infielder that didn't really amount to anything. So it's, it's kind of funny whenever I see one of his cards. Brett Saberhagen. Dan Dreesen. Ah, another Jim Palmer. Same card. In just as good a shape. That's pretty awesome. There's a triple card. Tom Glavin, Jack McDowell. John Burkett. Nice. Orlando Cepeda. Slight little crease here. Even still. I mean, these cards having come from other people's collections and how they put these together is understandable. So, you know, if you're really, if you're looking to make profit on this or turn this into part of a business, I, I don't know that that's, you know, if you're doing it for that reason, that's the real reason you want to do this. Although, unless we totally fail on every other pack that we get here, I, I can't imagine that. We can definitely get, you know, $89 worth here. Just by being able to have a smattering of all different years and... Big Dog, Fred McGriff. Rafael Palmero, another Orlando Cepeda. This one's in really nice shape. This is a 1961. You're not going to pick that up anywhere. And the Wizard of Oz, Ozzy Smith. Vlad Guerrero. Ryan Sandberg. One of my all-time favorites as well. My daughter got to, to actually meet Ryan when he was with the Iron Pigs as the manager. She got to go down onto the field and hand him some baseballs and talk to him a little bit. I got to shake hands with him. That was a really, really good experience. Albert Pujols. Another one of them funny names, Pujol. Mike Young. Okay, dig deeper into the box. see as the years went by how just amazingly different the quality of the cards became. Cecil Fielder. Jim Cat. King Griffey Jr. So we're less than halfway through the box and we already picked up a couple uh, Griffey Jr. and a, an A-Rod and Count Ripken and Jim Palmer's. Uh, part one, we had a, a 70 Carl Ustremski. Thank you. 
Thanks. That's a really nice card. Another Griffey Jr. Pat Kelly, interesting local boy from Katasako here, uh, about 15 miles away. Um, you see it at one of my favorite steak places called Gregory's. His family's still in the area. Don't know what ever happened to Pat. So far, every checklist I've gotten, nothing's been checked off, so that's kind of cool. It's really rare to find how, <coughs> excuse me, find any of the older checklists that haven't been marked off as they were collecting them. That's a nice Tom Seaver card. seeing these older cards. <laughs> Classic mustache, Keith Hernandez. Sweet. Nineteen ninety George Brett, record breaker. So we're just picking up all kinds of all kinds of Hall of Famer cards in here. It's really just amazing. Kelly, just a different cat, but Pat Kelly. <laughs> Oral Hershiser. Dominant picture in the 80s, 80s definitely. Wait, Boggs. Some of the Red Sox. Another Ozzy Smith. A little something on there. George Pratt. Jerome Walton. He was a big prospect at one time, too, and never really took off like everybody thought he would. Interesting. Bowman card, Vladimir Guerrero, another Hall of Famer, Juan Marshall, 64. It's not bad shape either. like these team picture cards because there's always 
multiple players in there. Fred Lynn, um, I'm sure you got Yastrzemski in there. Uh, Fisk, might, I believe, is in there that year, Carlton Fisk. So always one way to get a bunch of good players on one card. I just thought that was neat. J.D. Drew, Chipper Jones, one of like the last people that I remember that actually played his whole career with one team. Joe Torre is the Mets manager, little thing here. Terry Steinbeck, Lance Parrish. But then George Brett. George Brett's all over in these boxes, it seems. <laughs> Mark McGuire. Nails, Lenny Dykstra. Beautiful Jim Palmer card. 1977. It's a little off-center. Corners are all crisp though and clean. No, no scratches on the surface. That's a great card. Why are some of the cards off center? Uh, that's production runs, the way they were made. Um, that's what gives you the different grading system that you go through this card. Obviously, that is perfectly centered, would be more valuable one. Uh, and one that's a little off center. So, and that's a matter of how they were cut when they were run through the factory. Great question. And that's really kind of what our Megar channel is all about learning stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Two Jeff Bagwells right in a row. That's just the thing. You just never know what the next card's going to be. Trammell, Tony Perez, the Expos. Card's almost mint condition. Good old Barry Bonds. You either love him or you hate him. I'm not sure how I feel about him, other than he's Barry Bonds. Another card, beautiful condition. Joe Rudy. It's a little, little rough shape, but beautiful Dave Winfield card. Each of all. Louisiana Lightning, Ron Guidry. Card three back so many new memories. Big John Crook. I believe we already got one of these in a previous pack. 79 Pete Rose highlights. It's in great condition, too. I'll, I'll take two of them. Mickey Mantle. Look at that.
There's another one of them team cards that I like. Tommy Glavin, another dominant pitcher in the 80s. Lee Smith. Mookie Betts. Ah, oh, beautiful Steve Carlton. Again, my, probably my favorite player of all time. Great card to add to the collection. And, of course, Barry Bonds' dad, Bobby Bonds, back in the day with the Indians. Steve Rogers. Getting in here to the... And Ken Forge Brothers. Ripken. Any Ripken's a great card in my opinion. There's Junior again. Brock. Everybody forgot about him after Ricky Henderson came along, but until Henderson came along, Lou Brock was the stolen base man. Ah, oh, nice Rod Carew card. Oh, really nice Yankees team picture card. Rodriguez. Wow. That's awesome. 1968 Don Sutton. This actually would be his second year card. Not something I would specifically go out and buy or look for to buy, but definitely something that's awesome to have in a collection. 
source. Juggling baseballs, that's an awesome shot. Sometimes just the photos are way better than some of the players are, but that's okay. Glenn Hubbard. And we probably could have done this in one part if we knew it was going to go this fast. Just for a little concerned, we didn't want to lose anybody's interest sitting here. Another Sandberg. Same deal with uh, Sandberg as Ripken. Every card of Sandberg's a great card. Here's our good, good buddy Albert Pujol again. <laughs> Just like saying that, I think. Great player in his own right. Oh my goodness. 1966 Phil Necro. GC Bowen was young, he looked old. <laughs> Jerry Kuzman shuts the door. 69 World Series. Miracle Mets. Cesar Cedeno. Now oh, look at a hologram on it. Can you see that? It's a 3D hologram. I don't know if the camera will catch it or not, but it does. that's pretty neat. Jeez, Rick Roden. All the way back in the day. Harry Bonds. Wow, we're in China just, he ended up uh, Cardinals manager. It's a great card. Tommy John. Juan Gonzalez. And a Braves team set. Any events like that's Ripken card. Okay, cut it off there. We're getting down to the last four packs here. So far we've gotten some really good cards. I really have been surprised. I thought it was going to just be a lot of commons and it's really not been. There have been some great cards. Wizard of Asazi Smith. Great shortstop, phenomenal. Watch him play. Greg Maddox, another dominant pitcher back in the 80s. Uh, 
a nice Bud Harrelson card. Rafael Palmero rookie card. The Maddox card. Some of these cards look like they are brand spanking new, fresh out of a pack from 19. This would be what? 78. Kind of looks like John Belushi a little bit in his younger days. Tim Salmon. Rookie card. Ron Say. Tom Seaver, Bob Gibson, and Fergie Jenkins all on one card. A little bit of creasing here, but again, it's not a card I'd go out and look for to buy, but it's great to pick it up out of this pack. Okay, second to last pack. Gibson, Vince Coleman, a lot of you younger guys don't know who these guys are, but those guys in their 40s know who they are. Paul Neal, another Ripken card. that over and just saw that Hank and an A. I was thinking Hank Aaron. Okay, final pack. Bear bonds. The Barry Bonds. Joe Torre. Nice card. That's in excellent condition. And that's it. We've unpacked them all and Overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it about a 9.5 as far as uh, entertainment and fun. We pulled out a lot of nice cards. We got to have a lot of fun opening them. Got to spend some time showing Megan some of these older cards that we have yet to see. And um, had a lot of fun doing our first, uh, first video. This being our second, you know, obviously part two of the two-part series. Uh, again, we hope you subscribe. We hope you liked it. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs down. If 
to give us a thumbs down, just give us an idea of uh, what we could have done better or different so that we can keep making more videos and getting them in better better each time so that they're more and more enjoyable for you. Um, also, we'll be trying to upload more uh, frequent. I saw the last video was two weeks ago, our mistake, but we'll try to do better with that as well. You want to say goodbye? Okay, goodbye. Bye.